Why don't you close your eyes and bring your awareness to your heart center and feel what's there. Take a breath. And feel your gratitude growing for your own awareness, for the work that you do here in the world. Appreciate yourself for caring enough to do what it takes to open your consciousness, to expand your horizons, to heal, to be of service, to come here and be with family, to meet new family, to reconnect with family that you haven't seen in this lifetime, to give yourself the love that you deserve to honor yourself. To let your own wisdom begin to bubble up from your heart and speak through you to have the courage to be your sacredness, to live your own magnificence to honor your journey, to receive the messages this weekend, to live in your power, in your divinity, with the support of the entourage here this weekend, with the support of Cryon, through all of it. And we prepare ourselves to receive a final message and a message of love to all. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. The message is at the end of a conference series are almost always different. They're not ones that are going to project a lot of new information or new concepts. It's, it's reflective. Because there is so much that we'd love to reflect on. Number one, this is not my partner speaking. It's not the man in the chair. It isn't. These are messages coming directly from the other side of what you've called the veil. Everything that you have as a human being, it's all you have to project into the unknown, meaning that you name things based upon who you are, what you are, what you've seen, and your reality. You have no names for that which you don't know and cannot conceive of. You call something the veil because there's hidden grandness. If I ask you where the veil was, what would you say? Is it beyond the atmosphere? Is it somewhere unknown? And the answer is it's right there inside you. I want to talk a little bit about that. Hidden grandness. You have a test before you. Always. Every time you come into this planet, you leave so much of you behind. And that is why you have a higher self. That is the, the part that is within you and also somewhere else beyond the veil. And that part of you which is the creative source that is inside your biology is always then struggling to shake hands with the part that's outside of you. 
you have that duality which was given to you on purpose the very creation story is duality you have that given to you which is almost like a switch of which one you will choose and one gets connected to the higher self far far faster than the other but that's your free choice as it should be so that any one of you that decides to start connecting to that creative source and find the God inside it's by choice it's not because someone told you to in fact you probably already know this but if somebody tells you to connect that doesn't mean you're connected if somebody then says you should do this it doesn't mean that you're connected it must be with pure intent of that part of you which loves God and that is the switch that opens what I will call the rest of the story there's hidden grandness part of the hidden grandness even of Gaia even of your reality will start to open up in the next few generations and what I mean by that is you're going to see another kind of reality based upon that which you discover to become a time when you look backwards and laugh at what you didn't know it's that profound even right now old souls are awakening to a new kind of reality in their spirituality in their everyday lives and something that was even discussed today and I'll get there I want to be reflective if we could wave some kind of what you call magic wand and take away the veil just for a moment the first thing you do is gasp in wonder of who's sitting in the chairs before me and the second thing you would do would remember who you are at the soul level when the universe was created yet again oh if I could show and tell you all of these singularity kinds of perceptions what I call point source thinking is all because the human being is limited but not for long you think there's one universe you talk about the Big Bang you don't understand that there's always been multiverses and that yours is one of many and that the creation was simply the expansion between membranes if you want to call that of dimensionality which then become creative events making new universes all of this kind of talk is something you'll discover and you'll have this as a reference to say Brian was telling us something that now is true it becomes true to you when your own science then comes in line with what I'm telling you but right now it's simply a channeler channeling an entity giving you information but dear ones what I'm telling you is true everything that is around you is what you have called multidimensional now that's not a word that cryon made up and what this means is that there's various layers of reality 
that you would then accept even though all the layers are present all the time and you're looking at them all the time you only accept and believe and live in a few and there's reasons why this is because your perception itself the senses that you have you call biology are limited and they're limited at this point because you simply have not evolved past that limitation and so there you sit and in your mind you would say I see it all and I say you see very little you only see the limited parts and that's about to change if the world, if the universe, if the galaxy is multidimensional, why is it that you would believe the biology in your body is so limited? If it's the same stuff of the universe, why do you clamp a lid on it and say it is only this big? Why do you roll your eyes when somebody says, there's more, look, there's more? And you say, oh, show me. And it can't be shown if you only have limited perception. Again, in a black and white world, color is rejected. Because color is simply shades of black and white. And then when somebody sees color, you get worried that something's wrong. And the peers will beat you up until you say, okay, okay, I never saw it. I go with you. It's everything is black and white. And this is what's happening on the planet right now. We've said the words because of this parable, color is coming. And this is a, a puzzle to many. And what we say is the grandness of what really is there may show itself soon. And the grandness of what is there is a multi-dimensional reality for you. And what is going on right now that is so puzzling to many is this is starting to show itself in the consciousness of human beings. You talked about compassion today there were elegant descriptions of what it is why is compassion different than empathy when you see some some person in front of you some beautiful person in front of you if they come at you and you know them and they're coming forward to you and and you recognize somebody who loves you and you love them you're gonna have a reaction now if you recognize them as an enemy there's gonna be another reaction let me ask you this, could you have the same reaction to both? Compassion. And if you can say yes, I would like to tell you something. Welcome to a multi-dimensional emotion called quantum compassion. In other words, multi-dimensional compassion. That is different than the kind of compassion that you ever could define as a human being in the old energy. You have no words for this. None. The ones who understand this best are some of those who have lived it for thousands of years. The ones who had the original ideas Of who God is or what's going on in the planet the Hindus the Buddhists the original ones who understood the circle of life what an ascended soul was reincarnation and the compassion of God if you look at their teachings compassion will guide you into an ascended status they believe this the soul graduates to a higher level can't go backwards that's what we teach that's a postulate of reincarnation the next time around you're gonna you're gonna retain what you have and move forward but what you're going to learn 
in this new energy isn't just that you get a little better that you're opening up to a new way a new way of relating to the higher self a connection that is so different it's almost like color in black and white's different the light is turned on different the connection to innate starts to be a lot more solidified you understand being in love with yourself because yourself contains the creative source those who are the most compassionate teachers on the planet the ones who would understand multi-dimensional compassion will be the ones who will look at you and the first thing they will see is the creator if you're coming at them to insult them they will see the creator that's what they'll see and the advice they will give you is you're not going to learn anything until you learn yourself and the advice they're going to give you is this fall in love with that which is in you which is God and the rest shall be given to you because you just opened the door to the mightiest part of you that you've ever seen the mightiest part can you even grasp this a multi-dimensional compassion that starts with the old souls of this planet in this new energy will lead to more compassion there's an old word an old scripture and the word in English is begats one thing begats another in other words it creates it it creates it did you know that multi-dimensional compassion will then create more compassion that's the difference between just being compassionate and having this new kind of compassion multi-dimensional compassion will grow new compassion it's almost like it's catchy and other human beings will see it as attractive and will begin to practice it what would a world be like when you look at some other human being and you see God inside first you already are doing this and you're gonna laugh at this because it's part of your training it's the way you would look at animals the first thing you would see in an animal even as a human being even the old energy is you see the Creator inside you see Gaia inside you see the beauty inside it's okay with an animal <laughs> you turn it on a human being now you're judging you're already doing it with animals every tree hugger knows what I'm talking about when you walk into the forest and you see God inside you expect it because there's no attitude because there's a reception from the animals from that which is nature that says welcome come on in we love you and you've been practicing this for years but then you meet a human and everything changes you throw up your guard don't you and that is what is going to be different that is what we are talking about you want to know what evolution is it's the human being who sees God inside everything because it is you can't shut off the creative source when you look at one thing and then accept it in another you can't say well God created this isn't it beautiful but you I don't know <laughs> and that's what you do <laughs> and that's just habit that's gonna change it disarms the enemy doesn't it and when I say the enemy I mean darkness I mean negativity I mean drama it disarms drama when you come at it with love totally disarms it 
somebody is ready to come at you with an argument or call your names or something else and suddenly the countenance that they receive is a compassionate one who loves them no matter what and they just don't know what to say it just falls on the ground they don't know what to say that's the catchiness of it and then at some level the disarming of that then they start saying I want whatever it is I want it I don't know what you've done but I want it that's catchy compassion begats compassion this is what ascension status is all about you've heard this word it means you ascend your vibration it goes up you ascend it and start thinking more and more like an angel would think perhaps a master would think perhaps or a shaman and that's going to be really ordinary it's coming to this but for now we just described the first step can you be compassionate for that which is inside you which is the creative source and clean up your own act first can you love yourself to that degree and say I'm worthy to be on the planet I'm actually here on purpose you can say it's not a mistake <laughs> I've got a soul that is here and it's allied with Gaia it's got a friend in nature the animals know me the flowers know me I'm here for a reason I'm part of everything congratulations to myself can you say that you fall in love with the idea that you belong here and then you start to settle down and relax and everything else becomes something that you can deal with and dear ones that is the way of things that's what happens when the light is being turned on to a greater truth a greater grandness now I want you to compare that to some other things you're seeing on the planet right now do you see the black and white do you see the darkness of consciousness that doesn't see God inside now you're starting to see what we talked about for so long the separation no more fence sitting the knife that literally cuts duality so that you can see which side of the fence individuals are on light is winning and will continue to increase on this planet but if you want to be a catalyst to make this go faster you'll fall in love with this yourself questions from human beings constantly to spirit when is it going to happen I'm tired of waiting please make it change all of those questions completely show the ignorance with the old energy to the new you don't really even know what questions to ask don't you understand you're the catalyst you turn to God and say please change things and we go and we say to you whenever you do we're fine <laughs> not understanding you are the catalyst old soul you sit here you're the catalyst old soul you want things to change faster I I am sitting here as crying saying I want it too how about we do it and that is with you doing it you make the change you make the decisions because the ball is in your court old soul you are getting closer and closer to the veil where all the action is where you turn on the light and you know who you are it's a message of revelation and grandness can you see this can you see the grandness of it all not the little problems that you came in with I say they're little they're little because I know your grandness I'm not belittling them I'm wanting to enhance you 
with truth. You are a multidimensional being, and it's about time you saw it, claimed it, and left here differently than you came. That's the message of today. It's the end of a series, and you leave. This particular group will never be together again like this, ever. It's unique. The personalities, the souls, the Akash, it's absolutely unique. So take a moment and think about this. In this uniqueness, I present something else. You, you're just as unique as this group. But you all have something in common. You come from the same place, the love of creation. And that's the seed of the evolution of the planet, the love of creation. Go from this place understanding how big you are. Mm -hmm. And so it is.